peace with rainwater and flood and all your problem is over. Use rainwater and flood to do this particular spiritual direction and every spell, invocation, shams, backwardness, disappointment, failure will be over in your life. Do this with rainwater and flood and the lack of childbearing, lack of getting married, every spell, sham, invocation, and strange sickness will depart from your body. By God's grace, in today's video, I want to teach you one mystery of getting rid of your problem using rainwater and flood in collaboration with a parlocky in order for you to be free and free forever. If only you follow me till the end of today's video, you will find out this piece of information because definitely if you don't need it, your loved one might need it. But before then, please give this video a thumbs up and help YouTube algorithm push it to other people that need it. As you do so, may God bless you. So, welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I'll discuss three important variables which actually help safety and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply this story correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit if it comes to your starting point. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you're highly welcome. Please do wait to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, I love you. Thank you for always stopping by. For my new time, if you are searching for any video, all you need to do is go through the search button in YouTube, type Jenny Action TV slash the keyword of the video you are looking for. For example, cleansing. You get the video I've made in the past about cleansing your watch and get some value. So without wasting a time, let's delve into the video of today. Do you know that some people, why it has become extremely difficult for them to be free from whatever they are going through is that water spirit is associated to their problem. Number two is they have also offended water. Water is one of the most powerful elements and energy on earth. There are certain things you should never do with water. When you are doing it, you offended the spirit, the angel guiding water. And the worst is that you must have activated the evil spirit also because this word is word of opposite. When we are talking of good, we are talking of bad. Angels, evil spirit, they are coexist. Once you offend the spirit of water, it is not easy to appease. It is not easy to get what you want. You will always be suffering. And the only way you can be free is by powerful spirit of deliverance, powerful direction of liberation and deliverance. How can you offend the spirit of water whenever you feel that you now, maybe you are the one who sank borehole in your house or anywhere, you always in the habit of wasting, wasting water. You open the tap, it is rushing without you using it. Any For any slighter chance you have, you waste water. You are activating spirit of waste. You can be doing direction for money from Jeremiah to Jericho. Believe me, it will not work for you because you're offending the spirit of money and as well offending nature in addition. Now, whenever you by any chance, you go and have sex in the water. You go and have fun in the water, be it in, in pool, be it even the one you have in your bedroom, be it in the sea, in the any ocean, any river, that maybe because you people normally swim in your place, you use that opportunity, you will enter in the name of swimming and you are having fun there. I have told you all time with your number, sex is a powerful spiritual covenant. My dear, you have offended the spirit of water and the your your problem may be now be tied to water. Another one is that you might have been initiated one way or the other through your friends, through uh, your family or any way, and then water spirit is now behind your problem. If you are not strong spiritually, it may be difficult for you to be liberated. Now, once you know that your problem is associated with water, you have tried everything possible to solve your problem. Even if your problem is not associated with water, water have no enemy. But one way or the other, there must, might be something you have done, it will, water will make, become your enemy. And because you are not fully aware of even what your parents did, because even the Bible says that, God will use the iniquity of the parents to visit the children. You have to do this direction once a lot of things are not working for you. Once you see rain falling, 
go under the rain and pack the rain, the water that is coming directly from heaven, keep it aside, then go to wherever there is flood, that there is flood, and find a way and fetch that flood. Even if you get the dirty water flood from a place that the top length of the flow is not high, so that water will not carry you, you get it. Because believe me, water is so powerful that there was a church that I normally follow my sister, that my sister to go when we were growing up because my, my other sister that was a, that is a spiritualist was actually going to a Pentecostal church. We we are Anglicans. From time to time, he will always drag us to go there. Do you know that they wanted to go and do this immersion baptism for the members of the church? And when one lady stepped in for the immersion baptism, the water sank this lady. They started praying from morning till night. It was in the night. See a kind of sweat. They were crying to God. That what are they going to tell the, this, the people of this lady? That how can they explain it? That this thing were rotting their name. We closed the church. There are people who say they have done ritual. Before the water pushed this lady out and has drank a lot of water, they now did a lot of things to revive her. Later, they now say that what causes it is that the lady is possessed with water spirit and then those spirits in the water now catch her when she puts her leg. From that day, before you do a church baptism in that church, they must screen you to know whether spiritually you are approved by God and then whether you are connected to water spirit so that they will not go there and lose you or something. So water is not an easy thing. It is very simple but so powerful. So whenever you see rain, get water and also get, get flood. When you get that water, make sure that your hand is clean. You are not bearing grudges against anybody. You are forgiving everybody that have sinned against you. Because actually, the Bible says that if we didn't forgive people that are sinned against you, how can our Heavenly Father forgive us? When you fail to forgive, you are caging yourself. So make sure you have free mind. And you are not planning evil against anybody. You, are, you don't want to do evil to anybody that your hand is pure. That your heart is pure. Once you are in that state, go and fetch that. Put clean water directly from heaven and go and get flood water. Then write all those things that you are passing through and drop it in that flood water. Allow that water to... you. It, it must not even be the day you fetch it that you use it. So long as it's not up to three months. But use it within seven days you fetch it. So you can fetch it a particular day. Do this work another day that rain is falling. So now write all those things, especially the strong thing you have seen that is a problem in your life. Maybe lack of getting married, lack of child bearing. There is nothing you are doing that is prospering. Your business is not doing well. Those strong problems that you have, write it down. And then by then, make sure you have bought a padlock and keep it around, around any day that is Friday that you buy the padlock and bring out this padlock and begin to pray and see God, the creator of the universe. You don't need to buy the one that's so Buy the one that you can easily destroy because you are going to destroy this padlock after the prayer. That you don't know why this problem has lingered there today. That whatever filthiness, whatever filthy garment I'm putting on, or whatever that is done in my lineage, or whatever I have done, or anybody shares invocation that somebody have done against me and maybe sack, put it inside water because somebody can even lock you with a lock and go and throw it inside water. Do some sham and do it and put it inside water. Do some sacrifices in the water that is holding me captivity like this. That whatever spell, sham, invocation that is done with water or with anything, that so long as water has no enemy, that today I'm using water to liberate myself, that let this thing be over. Then when you have finished very well, you, write, you know you have written that intention before now, dip it in that bucket of flood water you fetch, and then get padlock and also make serious prayer and declare that today as I unlock this padlock, that I have unlocked this problem that I'm passing through, that never will this problem be part of my life. You make sure you destroy, use anything to break and destroy that padlock, put it in that bucket too, and then keep the key, use it as a point of contact from time to time you pray that so long as I have unlocked myself, I'm unlocked. Because the Bible says that whatever is we bind on earth is bound in heaven, whatever we lose on earth, according to Matthew 18, 18, you declare that you have lost yourself from this lack of child, I lose my marriage, I lose uh, my business, I will from now be making progress. 
pray that particular thing. So after you have prayed very well, then carry that water whenever you see rain again falling turbulently or at the same time the rain is still falling. Put that along your spot in that bucket of water with that paper that has soaked in that water. Declare that as this paper has soaked, that's how all this problem is going to be flush away with flood. Then go and pour it back to the flood. Let flood carry it. Then come back, add salt. Add salt, just a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt is enough. Just maybe one spoon of kitchen salt, half spoon of um, powder sea salt, seven pieces of uh, countable sea salt, any one you have. You ha add it in that water. Get four cubes of sugar, drop in it, or four spoons of sugar. Declare that from, from east, west, north, and south, and on west, that so shall good things be following you. No more evil again. And then get original honey and put just one spoon declare that as so long as honey is sweet honey is eating is loved by everybody honey doesn't expire do you know that honey doesn't expire that so shall this my problem no longer continue to be in my life that this my, i must get what i want nothing will stop me anymore and so on and so forth then when you have finished, use that water and bet. That rainwater you fed must be pure rainwater without addition of any other thing. If you are living in a cold area, just boil it, let it be warm. Use it to bet. As you are betting, you are making the same prayer. By God's grace, that's how that problem will be washed away from your life and you will get solution in no distant time. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video, believing that somebody has actually found value. If you're one of those, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video. Share this video and share it to everyone. I'm sure I'll be helping a lot of people as to do so. May God bless you. Honor you and cause you to ride upon the high places of this earth. See your lady Jenny say.